Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov and today I will be experimenting with creating uh, the new nail techniques uh, and as you can see now I'm using my favorite gel paint Arctic Snow I already mixed that with uh, a, little, a little bit pinkish gel paint so I have created very nude pinkish gel paint and I'm using now thin brush number zero and it allows me to create half moon manicure it's very popular now so you can create it very quickly and easily using thin brush number zero and flat brush for um, for applying gel paint it's not similar like flat brush for drawing one stroke technique it's a little bit wider and uh, the hair is a little bit longer so this one will be available in my shop too so all products and tools you can find there the link is under the video so as you can see now I am applying some rows of gel paint and you should control that because your every your layer should be very thin and now I'm using gel paint of the brand Malvina and I'm covering the uh, free edge with this gel paint. We are applying thin layer and now with flat brush for creating the gradient I'm making uh, careful motions and I'm mixing colors together in the middle of the nail plate. Try to move your brush very carefully and you will, uh, uh, you will apply such effect only with gel paints. I think uh, gel polish, uh, I think it's not easy to create such effect with gel polish because uh, gel polish, polish is um, more liquid than gel paint and you can see that uh, we can dip the corner of the gradient brush in my into the jar and we can easily and quickly create such amazing effect uh, of ombre or on of the gradient and at the end we can cover nails with top coat so as you can see there are three or four steps. At first we cover nails with uh, pinkish gel paint, cure it in a UV lamp, um, cover nail with half and half with two gel paints and I'm using th uh, flat brush for the gradient to mix colors in the middle of the nail plate. And now let's try the new technique. So I will be using the sticker um, and after placing the sticker on the nail plate I will be creating something like airbrushing effect but I will not use airbrush at all so I will be using the brush for the gradient and after sticking the stickers um, you can buy them on any internet shop I think that they are available now and we mix together paints or you can use only white acrylic paint uh, we move the brush on the paper and with uh, a white acrylic paint we cover cover uh, this sticker uh, with with this paint please don't mix the paint in water and don't use uh, too much liquid too liquid gel pa uh, acrylic paint and or gel paint it should be a little bit dry a little bit thick um, this way your the effect will be much better 
and after that we remove stickers very carefully and make sure that uh, when you glow the sticker that uh, it's placing very close to the nail plate okay so that's very uh, funny and interesting to do that and you can use a thin brush to fix some some details as you can see on my video you can use the robin alcohol and thin brush for cleaning side walls of uh, of the finger so let's watch the result with get with um, uh, with this uh, sticker and acrylic paint and um, I just want to demonstrate this uh, nail design with uh, with the, this new technique effect and without it. So please tell me in comments uh, what's better for you and what do you like more. Uh, do you like this uh, this idea for creating nail designs? And you can make me some advices if you, uh, if you know that we can create this easier or faster. So, just let me know what do you think about it. And let's create some more nail art designs. And especially for this client, I made amazing nail shape. We call this shape as points. Um, it's something like uh, ballerine shoes. Maybe it's similar, like like uh, like it, and that's why uh, it calls with this name. Okay, um, as you can see, I'm working now with gel paste of gold color. And I'm curing it in a UV lamp about only 5 seconds. And as you can see now, I'm using pusher and I'm applying glitter placing. This glitter have large pieces. Uh, we're applying places using fingers uh, to push all the particles down into the gel and um, as you can see now I mixed a little bit pink uh, gel paint into the blob into the jar of Arctic snow gel paint so I created uh, the new one color this color is very amazing because I like very light pinkish colors and I solve an other problem. Um, as you can see, now I'm covering gold nail with top coat. We can apply one or two layers, so you can check it if uh, particles are not covered. You can apply it two times. So. Let's watch the result. I think these nails are very graceful. Uh, in my next videos, I will show you how to how to make this nail shape in details. And now watch the next nail design um, that I will be showing you on uh, short rounded nails. Maybe for someone these nails are not seem uh, seem uh, short, but you know, guys, uh, I have a lot of clients who keep on uh, keeps on uh, long nails um, and. These are seems much shorter for me than 
all the rest of nails of my clients. Okay, and especially for this client, I will be applying Dreamcatcher. This nail design is very popular now. And you can, you can apply it very quickly. So, watch carefully and learn every my uh, brush motion. So, as you can see, I have already drawn two circles. And one circle in the center. And I'm uh, combining them with thin lines. I'm using thin brush number zero. Just, just draw thin lines. And you know, um, drawing with such technique, um, I think that it's the easiest way uh, to learn nail art painting because you tr this way you train your hand perfectly um, and after that you can easily draw uh, every uh, and every composition um, for example fruits portraits uh, any other elements flowers and you know such details like uh, details with, you, you have drawn with black paint um, help you to beat it to beat in and every nail design as you can see this is very beautiful but the main uh, thing you should learn that uh, every your stroke should be very uh, very thin and you should always try to draw with thin lines thin lines like you see like you see here how I am applying details and I think that this nail design will be very popular in the world because it's easy to draw and it looks beautiful on every shape of the nails and um, it's very stylish there are a lot of uh, dresses I, I see now in uh, in shops with the same print um, what else after drawing the painting we should cover it with top coat. I'm using my Frankenstein nail brush. Uh, I made it by, by myself and after covering all nails with top coat I cure it in a new lamp for one minute. Okay and you should apply it very carefully to create uh, the ideal blinks. Let's watch the result. Just one painting on the ring finger creates amazing effect. So you don't need to draw on each nail. We just need to pay attention, uh, make an accent on the ring finger with maximum accurate and neat painting for creating such amazing nail design. Okay guys, just try to repeat that. You can use this cage. Okay, now um, I'm playing the next one nail design. Um, I just want I just want you to repeat that because I uh, composed in this video some of my favorite nail designs that I, can, that I can apply easily and they help me to work quickly. You know sometimes guys there are a lot of clients and when I'm tired I'm trying to 
suggest my clients to to create such easy nail designs and they they will be very happy with this effect um, and it helps me to work quickly uh, and it doesn't this nail design designs don't kill me in my work so <laughs> I'm coming back home a leave and not hardly tired okay guys um, we just need top coat and you can use um, any other uh, clear gels for fixing rhinestones and using the reverse side of any brush I'm applying placing of rhinestones uh, these rhinestones are not very expensive I have ordered them on Aliexpress I don't 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 remember the seller but I think that uh, each seller is legitimate uh, you can you can order them just check out if they shine on the picture because there are uh, rhinestones of two um, types from uh, from the glass and from the plastic um, from the glass are shining from the plastic are not are not shining but uh, from the other hand from the glass rhinestones need to be uh, sha uh, uh, shaping out only with files not only with drill bits because you can it, it it gets in into your eyes and it's not very good but plastic uh, rhinestones you can remove them with uh, any, anything you want perfectly but remember guys when you re when you are removing on infill of your gel nails when you are removing uh, uh, glossy uh, not mm, glossy rhinestones you should use only nail files not drill bits because you can spoil your your eyes that's the main thing or you can you can uh, use um, glasses I mean things that protect your eyes and they help you to avoid that uh, uncomfortable things um, as you can see on uh, the video, you can apply placing of rhinestones in any way you like. You know, there are a lot of pictures in Instagram, a lot of photos of nail designs with rhinestones. I think that Russian nail artists are crazy, uh, have drawn crazy about placing of any jewels or rhinestones. And I think that and half of uh, all, all of um, nail photos they have the same nail design, but honestly, I don't like such designs. I, I think that it's uh, it's uh, it's too easy for me. And if I imagine my work only with placing such elements only placing rhinestones I think I would draw I would drive crazy but it's beautiful you know guys it's very beautiful and as you can see uh, they're shining perfectly so I just want to ask you my friends um, do you know do you happen to know any devices for cameras that allows rhinestones uh, shining perfectly because as you can see they they don't they don't shine on on my camera at all but I know some some videos with extremely shining rhinestones please tell me down in comments how do they do that I just want to make some videos like like that with uh, with uh, with shining beautiful rhinestones maybe we just need the light 
the backlight so I will try to experiment with that as you can see then on the next nail design I already mixed or Arctic snow gel paint with any others gel paints you know guys I, I have already made a video of mixing gel paints Arctic snow and someone told that this color is similar like shit you know guys I don't think so <laughs> I think that is the perfect nude color but I, I decided to make it a, a little bit lighter and mix it with white color and as you can see I've got um, this perfectly uh, nude uh, beige color so now I'm drawing uh, lines using gel paste of gold color uh, let's come back to mixing colors some somebody asked me about why do I do that so you can you can uh, buy um, ready uh, colors um, but uh, maybe you, you don't have too much experience because if you if you say such things because if you have ever tried canny gel paints you know that some colors are not pigmented enough for example nude and uh, light nude colors like the same you see on my nail design if you try canny gel paints for creating this nail design um, you will so uh, you will solve the problem that they are clear a little bit clear so you you will force with uh, the problem that you, you that you need to to apply 10 or more layers of these gel paints but the arctic snow gel paint has very much pigment in this content so I just need to make the the shade of this paint adding a little, a little bit um, any other gel paint for example pink gel paint or uh, chocolate brown gel paint and this way we can create light pinkish or beige uh, gel paints that are pigmented enough so we can create such pure colors easily only with two or three layers but don't forget guys um, you, when we mix such colors we solve we face with an other problem if you uh, cover nails with very thick layer uh, your gel paints uh, will be spoiled because um, gel paints with too much pigment they always spoil in an, in an UV lamp I don't tell you more information about that because my English doesn't allow me to do that it's very hard uh, but you can um, you can imagine the pie when you bake it um, the upper side breaking better than the uh, than the downside um, so we, we, uh, here we get the same effect so guys let's watch the result I think these nails are very amazing and the color is beautiful. <laughs> not similar, not similar like shit at all. <laughs> it's like, um, it's like um, skin. Beautiful beige color. Please tell me down in comments what do you think about this nail design and what do you think about my work. And I decided to draw the next one nail design I think this will be the last today okay and as you can see I'm using my favorite flat brush for drawing simple petals 
and I will be applying uh, very cute tiny flowers on my clients on on my clients nails um, you should remember guys we, we, we shouldn't apply very uh, tiny strokes on white nails because they uh, create the white effect so they look nails look wider wider this way um, you should choose the medium size of petals as you can see on my video and with these petals we can create amazing nail design I'm applying this nail design very quickly and um, it doesn't they doesn't take a lot of energy from me and you know I have no rest when drawing such such nail designs when applying that because um, they they don't need to be concentrated um, because we, we I don't need to draw very um, flat strict th and thin lines like in the case where we applied the previous nail design on this video so I just um, I just give my hand the free motion and create airy beautiful nail design and you know guys uh, I think that that's great then we have a chance to draw different nail designs in one day so I, I remember days some years ago when I was drawing only flowers and compositions with uh, one stroke technique um, but now there are there are uh, differences of nail designs and uh, clients ask me to draw some different things French manicures uh, covering nails with pure color, colors, uh, flowers, geometric compositions, placing of jowls, rhinestones. And this video, you know, this video shows you um, how the different nail designs we get now. So, let's watch the result and please tell me down in comments what nail design is uh, more suitable for you what do you like more and don't forget guys to click like button and subscribe to my channel bye hello my friends and subscribers my name is Alexander Stepanov I told you a million times that for having great results in one stroke nail art painting you should learn fundamentals yeah guys you should train hard simple strokes and basic compositions in this time i made the special dvd with fantastic one stroke nail art course the main thing is when i was recording this course i created un uncomfortable conditions for myself just for feeling myself as a student I was recording this course standing and keeping the paper in my hands so I just tried to make maximum closer shots so you can feel my brush motions the way I twist my brush in my hand and the way I load the paint on the brush I composed together all techniques of simple strokes and flowers to make this video understandable and easy for beginner so that was the great day I was making the record on the daylight and I was opening all the secrets 
of one stroke nail art technique. So you can watch this video, practice again and again till you've got it. The link on the Instagram shop where you can find this DVD is under the video. So you can get it right now wherever you are. See you in the next videos guys.